Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I've got a lodge in my mouth, so I apologize for sounding like I have Mars. I don't have marbles in my mouth. It's a cough drop, throat drop. Soothe the old golden voice. Big thanks to these folks for getting to this break. On a Wednesday, Vic, Last Spot Mojo, Bills. Now it's a half case picker team. So this break shouldn't take us very long. There it is from a fresh case, Donruss Optic Football. We also have um, half case contenders football in this shop too, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So it should be a, uh, a friendlier price point. Why are, why are these two boxes like this? See all the other boxes are like that? But these two are like that? Hmm, interesting. All right. Let's select a die. We'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Ooh, there it is, right side. So we're gonna find out what those two boxes are all about. All right, so this we will save. This is break three. So this we will save for break number four. So it's kind of hard to write at this angle, but that's my chicken scratch. There we are. Hashtag four. Or for you older folk, pound sign. I'll just put this right here. All right, good luck everybody. Yeah, gotta, gotta protect the golden pipe. But now I kinda sound the way, kinda sound the way Ariana Grande sings. Great voice, but a little mumbly sometimes. All right, good luck everybody. All right, well, let's talk about it, folks. Let's talk about it. Every day that goes by, we get closer and closer to the uh, to the AFC and NFC Conference Championship games. Who do we have? Titans at Chiefs. Who do we have here? Chiefs are minus seven. Whether you want to say, pick straight up or... With the points or taking the points, laying the points, whatever you want to do. That's right, Mark Ballinger. That has not changed. That has not changed. Nor will it, Mark, ever. She's the, uh, the Mariah Carey of this generation in terms of vocal quality. Did Mariah have more hit? Mariah might have had more hits, but... Rebel says Chiefs. Vinny thinking Packers versus Chiefs in the Super Bowl. The San Francisco line is almost the same. It's minus seven and a half. Although that, that hook could be could be pretty crucial, but but uh, yeah, minus seven and a half favorites for the Niners. So Rebel says Chiefs. Uh, Vinny says Pack versus Chiefs. This guy, Richard Sherman, is probably thinking Niners. Ty Johnson, Silver. Travion Williams to 299. We'll sleeve and top load those. Our shipping team will take care of that before this goes out. Big Ben Rothsberger to 50. Sony Michelle. Devontae Adams to 150. I feel like he may have to get 150 yards. Daniel Jones. How about this? Rated rookie hollow. There you go. That's pretty nice.
Tyrell Williams to 299. That guy's got to do pretty well, too. We got Damian Harris red to 99 for the Patriots. And there's our auto. 22 out of 99, LJ Collier. Rookie auto for the Seahawks. That's going to be for Andy. Zegu Elliott to 199. All right, next box. No, no one else has any opinions on these games. I don't know. Now I've been. Don't listen to me, folks. If you, especially if you if you in, if you enjoy putting uh, if you have a financial interest in any of these teams. Don't listen to me. My playoffs record has been terrible, but I'm just going to keep firing. I think the Titans plus the points. If you're into that sort of thing, for entertainment purposes only. But I think the Chiefs got to Chiefs win that game. I I just can't see. I mean, unless, can Derrick Henry do it again? I don't know. Tennessee defense is a lot better than the Houston defense, so it's not going to be easy for the Chiefs, especially if they're down early like they were last week. It won't be easy for the Chiefs to, to, to come back, to storm back the way they did against Houston. That that first half is going to be extremely important, I think, for both for both teams. I mean, now I know Ryan Tannehill his last couple of playoff games just haven't hasn't really put up, you know, the passing numbers. But come on, I mean, one or two plays to AJ Brown. I mean. Those are fast points right there. They can they can move the ball pretty quickly. They're a little more of an ex they're they're more of an explosive offense than people may think. Now Tiggs saying home teams win easy and and the over on both. Debo to 299. Irv Smith to 5. Nice Irv Smith Jr. 1 out of 5 for the Vikings. Mark Bellinger Mark, I think it's literally been years since you got last got a train whistle. That still happens here, too. Out of fives and under. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Point total for the Titans-Chiefs game is uh, 53. Yeah, I think there could be some points in both of those games. Out of 199, Byron Murphy. There's Quadri Allison, rated rookie, silver. Big River, you never got a whistle. What are you talking about? Out of five, did you get at a card that was out of five, numbered out of five or under? There's Greedy Williams, 49 out of 60. Did I short you a train? Oh, no, you're saying it's the, it's the dream? I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's so random. Oh, I thought you meant I shorted you a train. So I was like, find me the video con to confirm, and I will I will definitely make that up to you. Alan Murdoch with the Browns. Le'Veon to 99. I feel like train whistles are so random. There's Jameis Winston. I feel like they're so random. I feel like there are people been that've been breaking with us for ages, and it's not like they're like slouches and buying spots. They're like regular buyers every day, you know, that have taken them ages. 
months upon months, maybe even years, to get a train whistle. And I've seen some like new guys break with us for the first time. Those are the two boxes that were flipped around. Um, that have joined us, and then ver their very first break, they're getting train whistles. So. Vinny, you're saying your only train whistle is a Thon Maker printing plate? Sorry. Ah, uh, well. They're not easy. They're not supposed to be easy. Otherwise, that train whistle will get old pretty fast. <laughs> what else is breaking night, Ketchy's wondering? What up, Ketchy? Um, well, I know we have a that Optic TriStar break coming up directly after this. After that, I don't know. What time is it? Almost 9 o'clock? We're kind of running out of time. We were only have like 45 minutes or so for another break. I'm thinking maybe Spectra Basketball. We have a one box random number block. That's on the side. That's Luka Doncic Trey Young, Young Edition. That's down to five. We can definitely do a couple of those before we call it a night. If not all four of those boxes, those are like those breaks are like 10 minutes a piece. That's the last half of the case. Um I think we're gonna have time for contenders. It's not super close anyway. Maybe those eight by tens, Gold Rush Hall of Fame That's from 2017. Gold Rush Hall of Fame autograph eight by ten photos. Fresh case. Twelve spots in the break. Each person gets a random eight by ten autograph photo of a Hall of Famer. So that's pretty easy to do. No random letters or anything like that. You're just guaranteed something. The Spectra basketball is pretty quick. I think that's kind of what we have time for. If Nick posts another TriStar break, maybe we can sneak in another one of those at the end of the night. Now, there's no hot boxes in here, so I don't know why they're flipped around like that. And all that stuff, of course, and the second half of this break is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. The second half of that, I'm sure, we'll do uh, tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. All right. Well, I don't know. If if, if I if I were a gambling man, I think I would, I'm tempted to take the Titans plus the points, and then I think the Chiefs will win. I don't know if they'd be any good on the money line, though. Packers at Niners. There's DeAndre Walker. What is it? Who who does everyone have in that Packers Niners game? I mean, I've been I've been down on the Niners all season long. They've proven me wrong every step of the way. That's that's a team I've definitely been dead wrong about all season long. There's no offense. I can't I can't shake the feeling that that the Niners are just are kind of like the Rams from last year. That at some point. At a critical moment, they're going to get exposed, whether it's the NFC Championship game or the Super Bowl. But that defense is legit. There's Lonnie Johnson Jr., and their offense can do more than enough. They can run the ball. They're a threat in the passing game. There's a one out of five, DeAndre Baker. Green auto for Anthony Rivera. There you go, Ant. Speaking of train whistles. There you go, Ant. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Rebel says Packers, they just seem to come from behind just shred. That's the scary thing, right? This is this is Aaron Rodgers we're talking about. You know? Still a bad, bad man, that Aaron Rodgers. So maybe Aaron Rodgers getting a touchdown? There's nice Kyler Murray silver for Brian Peoples. See, that's what I'm thinking too, Blackout. Take the points with the Titans and the points with the Packers. Maybe Moneyline parlay the Chiefs and Niners just to just to try to get just to try to get greedy there. But who are we who are we counting on? 
if they're down to to like come back, you know. Aaron Rodgers, he's been there before. He's got he's got all sorts of playoff experience. Garoppolo still still relatively young in terms of playoff experience. And I mean that'll count. That that'll count at this stage of the season. You like Pat? I don't know. I don't know what that what the money line is for the Packers, but I'm sure there's some value there. I'm sure there's even some value for 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 the Titans money line as well. I mean, at best, you're gonna get what Titans plus seven at minus one ten. But if you think the Titans are good plus the points, why not just sprinkle a little bit on that money line for the Titans and Packers even? Just for value purposes, though. Obviously, big difference between value and and what you actually think is going to happen. But in terms of that value play, it may may be worth it. Where's JB? JB plays a little bit. What do you think, JB? I think he was here earlier talking about his train whistles. Vegas Insider has Packers plus 290. Titans plus 280. Um, yeah, that's not so bad. Moneyline parlay basically is you're saying both events have to happen. Or a, a parlay is multitude of events. But we're saying take the money line as in to win. This is not without a spread, basically. So you're saying take the individual team to win. Parlay them together so both events will have to happen in order for you to, to get that money. There's Ben Banigou. Oh, that's a nice way to put it. Yeah, you're, you're stacking the plus 290 and the 280 on top of each other. And you probably get, what, plus... I actually can't calculate that in my head. Was that plus 600? Plus 1,000 maybe? So three to one, three to one basically turns into like 10 to one or something like that. Because they're calculating, 10 to one, right? So they're calculating that the likelihood of that event happening would be, would be 10 to one odds is how the calculation goes. There's Carson Wentz to 299. That Brady orange, by the way, what was that? To 199. But obviously, that's a riskier move, especially with two dogs. Josh Jacobs, nice. EA with my Raiders. On-card auto, rated rookie, Josh Jacobs. He's got, I think he's got a chance for Offensive Rookie of the Year next to Kyler Murray. A.J. Brown may be, may be the one, though. Corey Davis. A.J. Brown opens a lot of room for Corey Davis, too. I feel like there's some DraftKings value in Corey Davis. A.J. Brown getting all the attention. There's Marcus Lawrence. Irv Smith Jr., rated rookie, hollow. T.J. Hogginson, rated rookie, I guess, teal velocity or something like that. Nice, Bradley. No, we got one more thing. We got to do that um, a quick optic uh, tri-star break, and then um, looks like yeah, it looks like Spectra thirteen is officially sold out. So we'll do that right after that. All right. Ooh, you like to Jay Sharp better? I guess I guess Corey Davis still kind of a public pick, right? Yeah, to Jay Sharp would even be. Oh, you're in Arizona, can't do DraftKings. Imagine my surprise, Sean, when I was when I've been to Vegas or in Nevada too. Nevada and uh, Arizona. 
think this was, I think I first discovered it in Arizona when I was uh, at a buddy's wedding or something like that. And just before I was falling asleep, I was like, ah, you know, let's, let's, let's make, a, make a quick little uh, 10 cent DraftKings lineup before, uh, before I pass out. It's like what? What is this? I look on the look on the old interwebs and the World Wide Web telling me that that DraftKings not allowed in Arizona. See ya, Teddy. Not allowed in Arizona and not in Las Vegas. Yeah. Oh, so they actually allowed it for a little bit, and then they and then all of a sudden your account froze. What a bummer. So then, what do you do? If you if you you have have the itch <laughs> offshore it's just offshores and I guess offshores VPNs and <laughs> yeah I guess just get a VPN to revel I suppose that's how you have to do it Another ten minutes to go here. James Winston, are the are the Buccaneers keeping James Winston? Man, I kind of like James Winston now. He's, this guy might be the most exciting quarterback in the NFL. There's rated rookie Dwayne Haskins silver. Who's with me on that? There's David Johnson to ninety nine Cardinals. James Winston, most exciting quarterback in the NFL. Thirty touchdowns, thirty interceptions. Who knows what's gonna happen with this guy? This guy's must see TV. Whenever he's on, I can't I can't turn away. What's gonna happen? Right. Guaranteed it's going in someone's hands. JB's like, I'm gonna pretend you didn't you just, just didn't say that. No. Who's more exciting? Who's more exciting? Aaron Rodgers? Boring. Too efficient. Derek Carr? Doesn't pass over over 20 yards. Ryan Tannehill, come on. He's got A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown's doing all the work. Tom Brady, old. Lamar Jackson, boo. You know? Yeah, mobile quarterbacks are a dime a dozen. We already saw that with Russell Wilson and Michael Vick. Have you ever seen someone throw 30 touchdowns and then still get the opportunity to throw 30 interceptions? Most teams would have benched a guy most teams would have benched the guy before you even get to 30 interceptions. <laughs> the Buccaneers let him get to that. Mahomes? Eh. There's Marquise Blair to 25. Drew Brees? He's been around a while. We've seen him. We've, we've seen what Drew Brees can do. Now, Jameis Winston, the most exciting quarterback in the NFL. There's Juwan Williams. Guarantee that ball is going into someone's hands. 500 plus yards a game for a good stretch. There's Russell Wilson. I mean, compared to compared to Mahomes, compared to Jameis Winston, Patrick Mahomes is meh. There's Deontay Johnson, six out of ten. Jaspi sub count dropping dropping by a thousand. Well, that's a thousand idiots, Adam, that we've lost, which is good. We didn't want them anyway. Obviously, he's not the most. But, I mean, he is fun to watch, though, in all seriousness. Just want to make sure people are awake. <laughs> Get them wild up a little bit. Uh, Aaron Andrews will be randomized to one person in the break. I mean, he throws an interception. Jameis Winston, not afraid. That Steelers goes to Michael Gallucci, by the way, the D.D. Johnson gold out of 10. Um, I mean, it's kind of exciting saying Jameis Winston, after he throws just a horrible interception, you know that he's not scared. Dude is going out there and being like, all right, I'm still going to sling it. 
Two interceptions? No big deal. I'm just going to keep slinging it. Three interceptions in a game? No prob. Because then all of a sudden, here comes three touchdowns. I mean, it's wild. It's wild. Yeah, no, I I put a small play on on the on the Lakers, which was a mistake. I think they've won like eight or nine in a row. They were bound to have a. This is a class, and they just got back home from a road trip. This is a classic flat spot for them. Kaysen, one touches that field fits a booklet out of playbook. I don't know offhand. Does anybody know offhand? Booklet and playbook? You're talking about, well, there, I think there's two different ones. There's the ones that, that, are, that are longer that you can open up the book and then one touch them. And then I think there's like the super thick ones where you, where you can one touch the book closed. I don't know which one, you, which one you want. The one where you get it closed, maybe like 360 or something like that. And the other one might be, I don't know what the other one might be. No AD though. He's got a, He bruised his tailbone. I think last week. Bru bruised his tailbone. And this. The, I mean, this is the scary thing about the Lakers, right? Is that if there's no, if if it's either LeBron or AD not playing together, then then you're down like twenty to the to the Orlando Magic. Uh, yes, Adam. There's Philip Rivers to 199. Baker Mayfield to 299. Yeah, that's that's what Rory told me, Adam. That cracked ice that we pulled, the Kyler Murray cracked ice autograph from Contenders that went to our our good friend Rory, who runs Brewtown Trading Co. in Milwaukee. Go visit that shop if you're in that area. Um, yeah. Got graded out at a nine five ten. That's how you know we treat our cards well. We've we've got a delicate touch. Irv Smith to fifty. There's Andy Isabella. So A Adam Loving, you're thinking it's on eBay for like thirteen G's. It doesn't surprise me. Imagine if Kyler Murray wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. It'd be pretty good. Sony Michelle to 150. I mean, in that division, Kyler Murray's going to be throwing a lot in that division. They're going to be behind a lot in that division. There's Terry McLaurin for EA and the Redskins. And we've got Alexander Madison autograph for Mark Bellinger. There you go. Um, you can submit it through uh, Beckett Grading Services, JB, or through PSA. Correct. You, ba you, you essentially, like, if, if Mark Bellinger received this in the mail from Jaspies, you know, and then he's like, oh, you know what, I want to get this card graded. He goes to any one of those services, and then you just mail it to them, and they grade it, and they send it back to you slabbed up, and you just wait. It's actually not, if you look it up, even just doing one or two cards, it's not as expensive as you think it might be. It's just the time. If you use the cheapest option, it might be like what? I don't know, 15, 20, it's been ages, but 15, 20 bucks, something like that. But then you're waiting for like a few months. So the, where the cost come, where the expense comes in is when, um, the expense comes in when you are, uh, when you want it faster. So if you're like, oh, I just got this hot hit you know, and I want like a two-week turnaround time on it, then then it gets pretty expensive. Yeah, I like that Alexander Madison. I I was I was talking to some Vikings fan. I don't. Are you a Vikings fan? Um, like uh, I was talking to some Vikings fans where it's like if there was a situation, and I'm not saying this is gonna happen, and I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen, but if there was a situation where you had to let Dalvin Cook walk, right, because he's you know he's gonna get a zillion dollars. And maybe you and I've talked about this, Adam Loving, where where it's like. Alexander Madison's kind of a poor man's Dalvin Cook. You could put money. I don't. I think Vikings cap situation's okay though. But I think you could 
if you had to, if the finances didn't work out, I think you could get away with Alexander Madison as a poor man's Dalvin Cook. All right, so everyone has a shot at the uh, Aaron Andrews fans of the game card after no points. After Snake Eyes, two times. Good, easy. One and two. Jay Remington, there you go, a consolation prize. All right, there you have it, folks. Half case break of uh, Donner's Optic Football. Pick your team number three in the books. Second half, I'm sure we'll get to, what time is it now? Probably won't get to it tonight, but we'll definitely get to it tomorrow on uh, on Thursday. And I'll be, I'll be here. We've got a couple more breaks coming up, folks. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.